Hi guys, it's Crystal City Girl Homestead. So, today is week day one of two weeks of cooking from a can. And the reason for me wanting to do this is because we always say, you know, stock up, stock up, stock up, stock up. And then we never tell you what to do with that stuff. So, um, this week we're going to can from those five ingredients that I showed that I asked for um, ideas and everything with. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you can add other things doesn't have to be just a can so you can add whatever you want and then next week I'm gonna cook from canned meat so that we can figure out different things to do with that and then I was thinking um, Tom and I want to take a vacation up east this week or this summer and you know like today's has to be baked and I was thinking about doing a week-long series of um, cooking from a can things that you can make on stovetop or your open it or whatever you want to do because to save money on vacation we'll make our own dinners so um and like most most of your hotels do have you know um refrigerators or whatever in them so yeah I mean I do not like spending a lot of money on food when I go on vacation <laughs> just not my thing so today we're going to make a Frito pie so, let's come down here. The first thing I'm going to do, if I need more chili, I have more. I'm going to add two cans of chili. And we're going to get that all put into this. Oops, we don't want that one. There we go. And like I say, if we need more, I've got more in my back room. And for people that use the food pantry, I know that they get a lot of chili too. So this will be something that you can do as well. So how the clips hit your guys' area. It was supposed to be 96% here in Lansing. And it just looked like it was going to rain. It didn't, didn't get real dark or anything. I said it just looks like it's going to storm, that's all. And then we're going to chop up an onion. I was talking to Tom and Courtney in for a little bit. Bobby was on the phone too. And Bobby was closer to the area than I'm in. And he's like, it just looks weird, doesn't it, Mom? I said, yeah, it doesn't look like... I figured with 96% coverage that it would make it dark. <laughs> and it didn't. It just... Looked like it was going to storm, that's all. Alrighty, let's see here. Alright, so we're going to dice the onions up. We don't want them big. I talked to Renee today, and I guess we'll hook up sometime the 21st when we go up, up north. I don't know if we'll just go to their place or they'll come over. But I was surprised. We have not been to that casino. We've never stayed the night there either. Um, we haven't been to that casino since, gosh, probably four or five years. So I was really surprised that they offered us a free room and free food and free play and all that good stuff. So free is good to me. We just got to pay our gas to get up there, and it'll be nice to get away from, you know, from town for a minute. I like going up north. All right. So there's our onions all nice and chopped. I had to throw out my last few onions. They all had um, had the ends started coming out. So I ordered some sweet onions from Sam's. I love sweet onions better anyway. All right. So now we're going to take... I just got the, um, the Walmart brand of the corn chips. They're like $3 cheaper than... Fritos. So we're going to put enough to cover the bottom of your pan. 
If you want to do a 9 by 13, you're going to need to double this recipe. All right. So now our chili is nice and boiling already. <laughs> I'm going to stir that up. And I'm sure it's not nowhere near as good as my homemade chili, but you know what? That's okay. And we're going to take that chili, and we're going to go right over the top. I know this seems like a really simple recipe, but I think that sometimes we don't think about stuff. You know what I mean? Like, well, we could do that, that, or that with it. So that's what I kind of wanted to do with this is kind of just show simple recipes that we can make from the canned foods that we have. Now we're going to take onions and sprinkle over top of that. And then we're going to top it with cheese. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I can just tell already it's going to be delicious. So yummy. Now, if you don't want to do a second layer, you don't have to, but we're going to. I'm going to use the rest of those chips up. And we're going to spread them out on top of that. All right. Then same thing, we're going to take that chili and pour it over top of that. Kind of spread that out. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys what I got this weekend from Little Dusty's. And I forgot to bring it out here, so after I put this in the oven, I'll go back out there and get it out of the living room. We're going to put more onions on there. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be delicious, you guys. I'm telling you. And then more cheese. And then, you know, I mean, seriously, there's so many things that you can do with the um, chili that you don't have to use an oven with. And that's kind of things that I'll be addressing in May, if I remember. So now we're going to put that in the oven, 350, for 20 minutes. Let me be right back. I'm going to go get what I got. All right, so once in a while, little Dusty's what he does. He used to be that bad at this when I um, collected duck stuff. He puts a whole bunch of stuff into a, um, you know, like a box, and then you bid on the box. Well, I did keep a couple things from it. I kept some forks and then, like, some really nice spatulas like this. That um, spoon I just used was from that. But the reason I bid on it was because of this. They had two books in there. This one's Gifts from a Jar, Cookies, Brownies, and Bars. And then they had a second one, Gifts in a Jar, Soups, Chilies, and More. And, I mean, these have not been used yet at all. So that's what I wanted the box of goodies for. I did save some, um, they're red plastic so that we could make ice cream sundaes and stuff in them. I kept those, but... I thought you guys would love to see those books. So, I think I spent, I think it was 4 or $5. And I told Tom, I go, he always does this. He puts all kinds of crap in there that I don't want. So, I let other people go through it and anything they don't want, either donate or throw away. So, I'm also going to, I bought, I had an order that I picked up at Sam's today. So we're going to have side salads this week. And I'm going to try to eat more salads for lunch. Because, I mean, you can buy this great big bag like that for $1.95. I can't even cut lettuce up and carrots up for that price. And today I don't have anything else to go with it, so we're just going to put cheese on it. So there's our side dish. Alrighty, so about 15 more minutes, and we'll pull that out, and we'll see how it looks. I've been looking more at the book, and I wanted to show you guys something. 
So in the front, this is so that you can tie it around the jars for giving gifts away. But when it says in here, like, okay, super chocolate cookie mix. So you go to the next page. And it has a couple of pages where you can actually, it's perforated so that you can attach it to the jar. And it already has the recipe to it. Isn't that really cool? I just thought I'd show that. So that one had six different cards that you could use to do six different recipes. That's really cool. Well, hi, Tom. Hello. hello Feel hello. better now after the cracker? Yeah. Well, there's your Frito pie. That's with um, the chili out of a can. Because we're doing cooking out of a can this week. Was well, is that Westgate kill it? You know, it's not Westgate, but something like that, yeah. Hmm. What do you think? You're good. You're good. Yeah? Mm hmm Would you want it again? Oh, of course. Cooking out of a can, I'm telling it's, you. It's chilly, right? Yes. Of course I will. I got you a gift. Uh-oh, what'd you get, man? <laughs> oh, a shaving brush. Yay! We'll show everybody. He was saying when he shaved yesterday, he hates putting his hands into the lotion. I go. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? That's exactly what I wanted. Awesome. You're spoiled. Put the shaving cream right on there and go... You're spoiled. Spoiled around. They'll, they'll probably get in my eyes. And I'll go, ah! <laughs> You're spoiled. Yes, I am. All right, we're going to let the hungry man eat. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. You guys have a wonderful night.